Protecting Florida's wildlife is important to many people, and tonight our Jason Beisel shows you how the state needs your help to study three types of snakes that may be in danger. The Florida pine snake, the southern hognose snake, and the short-tailed snake, once a common sight here in Florida. But now the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service is considering placing these reptiles on the federal endangered species list. To see how the snakes are doing, they need you to let them know if you spot one by reporting it on the FWC website. Well, if anyone sees a snake like this, they're to try to photograph it and get the GPS coordinates that they can. One of the main reasons these snakes are beginning to disappear because their habitats are slowly being destroyed because of this construction of new housing additions, strip malls, and roadways. When these these animals don't have the habitat they need, they cannot survive. All these snakes, non-venomous, and they play an important role in our backyards, eating insects and other pests, helping control their numbers. So here's what you're looking for. The Florida pine, it can grow up to seven feet and usually has a white, tan, or rusty color to it. They can, they act very aggressive when first seen. They will hiss very loudly and they will strike. The southern hognose, a smaller snake with an upturned nose. The hognose snake will play dead. And you can see it, it acts like it's convulsing. The short-tailed snake, very thin and spends most of its time underground. And because of its small size, no one really even knows they're there. The state has until 2015 to complete its research. That's when we'll know if they're endangered or just moving to less populated areas. Jason Beisel, ABC Action News. And you can find a link to Florida Fish and Wildlife's website on our website, CNOM TV section of abcactionnews.com.